affiliate page pro help video this video is in regards to editing the actual script that gets created so you can add new categories or modify the categories for your own purposes so let's for example bring up a, an affiliate page say for instance I want to add in okay so we have step four step four for in this example is blog posts say for instance I want to make step four um, something else it might be offer a free report or something like that so let's go and modify and create a new step four that is not something that's inside affiliate page pro so that you can edit the script yourself here we have the two files that are created from affiliate page pro we have the style sheet style.css and index.php which is the actual script now I like to edit this in a uh, simple notepad plus plus watch the customizing header and footer video uh, above this one and you'll see what that's all about but this is basically the script that gets created so if I go down past all of this code I'll see where I can put my headers and that's discussed in a previous video and just down a bit further you'll find that there is a section commented out and that's this green area here these are the links that appear let's have a look okay they're not there in the example but if you do want to have those links let's put them in and I'll show you what they look like so we'll take out those two comment tags what was there and what was there you just remove those comment tags and that creates the the link table I can create a link another link we're going to call this one uh, free reports and free reports we'll edit that reference tag there and give it a name now we're going to create that new free reports category so we're going to go down to say for instance step Four, which is our blog posts and we're going to add something in for step five so we have a div with a class step group we can simply start highlighting and we're going to highlight and we're going to copy and we're going to paste so we've got that there keep going until you get to the next step group so there it is there so between the opening and the closing of the div tags I'm going to highlight that and I'm going to copy that and I think we'll put it before we'll add some spaces and we'll paste so this is now going to become our new step 4 so our new step 4 is going to be called free report free report and we change this a reference here to link up with the text link that we had up above you'll see that as it comes out and then you can just change whatever you want in uh, in this region in here so this will be free report start changing some of these and you probably don't need that because we don't actually have uh, yes we are going to have a text area so we need to change these tags around so FR for free report and we're going to you can add in this is where you would put your text or images just straight HTML in there 
And this is where they would get their customized, uh, if there was any customization involved. But with a free report, you're going to be hard pressed to do that. So you put the download link in here. And as you saw, this uh, PHP tag here with the site URL, that actually substitutes in the site URL when the page loads. So you can keep that tag there if you wanted to. Then you've got to go through and of course renumber them because you just added in a step four. So then you'd have to go through and change all the old steps to be five, six, etc. So now, once that's done, just going to double check, free report, free report, and then I'm going to simply save it, and then I'm going to open up my FTP program, I'm going to upload it onto my server then we can have a look at it so here's the page I'm just going to refresh it so straight away you can see right here's my links that we added in we took the comment out and we added that in so there's my link to my free report and this is where you would put your text or images, insert your download link code here. You don't have to have this text area here. Um, I just left it in there to show you an example. And that's basically all you have to do to copy and paste what's already there to create new categories. And just a little bit uh, be careful with obviously what you're doing in there and upload it and test it. And that's basically it. That'll you can create anything you want to give away to your affiliates. That's it.